Hey boys, welcome back to some more Melbourne Storm 2019 Korea taking on the Tigers in this round 19 game. And we're obviously, we're done. We're done with the Origin period, which is good for us. You know, we're not, Storm aren't as affected as they have been in the past because obviously, you know, Cameron Smith, um, obviously they don't have Kronk anymore or Billy Slater as well. So, you know, the, the big three aren't, missing from the storm but they're still i mean they're still pretty heavily affected i mean cameron munster obviously he's probably there he's a number one player now oh i mean with smith probably <laughs> um who else ado car generally um felice kafusi who else have they got not too many else i'm surprised a guy that honestly probably should get selected for origin if he was a queenslander he would be just an absolute mainstay is uh, Dale Finucan. He um, he's an absolute monster, dude. Finucan, he's, he's someone you would just want to play Origin, right? Like, I don't know. You know, the Blues always they've always had an abundance of of forwards. You know, and it's sort of a, it's a blessing and a curse. I feel at times for for New South Wales because you get guys like Finucan who, you know. He, he's got origin all about him, surely. But because there's probably other players with a bit more a bit more X factor about them, you know, they they get the nod. Which, you know, it it can work out, but a lot of times you want guys that are just tough in the middle. You want those tough guys, because being like fancy or flashy, like it doesn't really equate that well to origin in most cases. Like, how often do these guys come in and actually, you know, are able to play their natural game. I mean, they don't really play it. Like, they're, they're mainly, you know, they're just trying to do their job as simply and as good as possible. Like, they're not really um, doing anything probably that they do at club level. Is right here, Adokar is going to score the first try of the game. It was a bit of a, well, it was a bit of a, bit of a, sh a scrappy bit of play earlier on with Cameron Munster looking to put the kick in. We luckily got the rebound, but then attacking the blind side on the last play there was uh, was a pretty handy idea. Adokar just put the afterburners on and uh, scored a nice try. But yeah, I'm, uh, it's a shame he's not a not a Queenslander dude because <laughs> he would definitely be in uh, the Queensland side. But yeah, but enough about that. That is an uh, absolute beauty of a kick. Brody Croft, obviously he took it over the line. It was going for a 40-20. You know, the AOI... It's better than it has been in previous rugby league games. It's still pretty bad in <laughs> near the sideline, but you know it's a bit it's a bit tricky. It's, unfortunately, the mullet Mahe Fanua is going to take the intercept. We had the numbers. It was just the pass is just so floaty. It just floated up and uh, perfect pickings for Mahe to come up and, and snag it. So yeah, that was that was a bit of a bummer. But uh, we got the ball back here first tackle and. Uh, Plenty of time here. So for Solomona, just straight through the Tigers. They're looking a little bit, a little bit fatigued midway through this first half, and our forwards are starting to run all over the top of them. Hopefully, we can convert this uh, this field dominance into some points. We got the we got the one try. It's right here. Beautiful play. I just had to get that last pass. Kenny Bromwich onto Chambers, we would have scored, I feel, as uh, Munster tries to put in a little kick. It's going to be picked up by that man, Dale Finucan. Again, the uh, the kick getting knocked down from the defense. Thankfully, well, not thankfully, a bit unlucky. We didn't get the six to go. Probably fair enough, but um, I would have liked it nonetheless. As uh, Brody Croft, we go for a sneaky field goal, <laughs> and it's just going to hit the post and come out. We don't even trap them in the end goal. That was pretty frustrating. I thought, you know what, go up by seven. It, it, you know, a lot of times, even if I'm playing really good, they can come back into the game so easily. Is again, Vanua with the intercept. Oh boy, we had the numbers. You know, the pass was on. It was just, it was one of those times where the AI just they were in the right spot, took the grab. Thankfully, he didn't run the length of the field, so it's going to be a 6-0 lead going into halftime. The possession, we've been on top. We just haven't really been able to put them away. But, yeah, you know, it's still it's still good play. Being up by that 6 and not letting them score is still very handy as uh, Vunavalu gets it on a Munster, almost streaking downfield there. But a, 
a great return serve off the kick as uh, Kafusi tries to get away at a car as Jerome Hughes is already fatigued all hell <laughs> just after half time. That's it. I, I talk about the fatigue issue in this game a lot because I do feel like it is one of the worst parts of this game as we are going to throw Esan Masters into touch, which is beautiful. It was a bit of a shoddy old kick, but we'll take, uh, we'll take what happened after it. But yeah, the fatigue thing, I just wish it would make it so much better if they just in the in the game um like when you go to half time they don't even get their fatigue like they don't get any stamina back i don't think i mean if they do it's very very minimal it's not even like noteworthy but i mean in real life like half time like you're gonna get pretty you're not gonna be fresh as like kickoff but you're gonna get your stamina back um but unfortunately well Great try here, Curtis Scott. Finally getting our second try <clears throat> with all the dominance we've had. We've deserved it. Um, but yeah, I just I just don't know why. Like In this game, it would just make it so much better if they made it so you get your stamina back at half time. I mean, you don't, you don't have to make it like 100% for all players, but like make it something. Like Make it substantial as Brody Croft <laughs> misses a kick. I don't actually know why I've got Brody Croft uh, goal kicking. Um in this one, I must have forgot to switch it back to um, Cameron Smith as, uh, unfortunately, Mahe, he's had a bit of a blinder, he's been <laughs> unstoppable at times, he's going to score the Tigers first try and it brings them right back into this game with the conversion looking pretty easy, they're going to be four points behind, but yeah, we'd fix a lot of the issues because the, the main issue I have is not really the forwards getting fatigued, um, because, you know, they obviously forwards get fatigued in real life. I, I do think it's a little bit over the top still, but I can I can understand that. But it's the backline players. Like Jerome Hughes, he basically had no stamina just after half time. Like that doesn't happen to the fullbacks. <laughs> it really doesn't. As uh the Tigers get a penalty. And thank Lord, they're gonna go for two. I have no idea why. Usually the AI is pretty good about going for two when they need to and then not going it when they don't need to so I don't really know why they went for it there <laughs> usually they wouldn't do that but uh and then good lord this, <laughs> I'm off on another tangent here but the honestly this last 20 minutes it felt like the game did not want me to win this <laughs> we apparently came up with a high shot there it was a bit glitchy so it didn't really look like it but that's uh, not good at all. So the Tigers are going to get a chance to snag victory. I was <laughs> I was freaking out because I was playing so much better, but we just haven't had the we haven't had the ball in the last 20 minutes. So this one goes up. Ado Car thankfully takes the grab in goal. That should be the ball game. Whew, that is uh, that was a, a dicey one for sure. But yeah, the getting your stamina back at halftime would fix the issue I have with your backline players getting way too fatigued. So, yeah, you know, that is that is what it is. Is Adokar here on the full time. Tries a little trick play. Uh, Will Chambers is going to take the tackle. So, we do get the win. It's uh, it's a fairly tricky win at the end, but we did play very well. A um, couple of errors at the end there. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.